Hello, hello. All right. That's working. Why is the game capture not working? Not to say. Been playing the same damn game. Um, I am doing good, Polly. Um, had a bit of a freak out at the end of last stream when I found out just what this temple was devoted to. Um, but aside from that, no, you don't get to be in there. Um, into the ocean you go. I can sign you to the depths. Um, how are you doing? This just broke me when I started because uh, apparently some people were just do, did the outside first and then so they started letting you know about like from the text and everything. But I did a quick layer around the outside and then did the inside. So I would already started cleaning off these murals when I realized that they were to me that this entire temple is devoted to me and I lost myself a little bit all right but we got 55% left to do we're gonna do that on stream today and then we'll be done with power wash simulator and that seems super weird Not sure how long stream is going to be tonight. I'm not sure what, if anything, I'm going to do after I finish this level. We're going to see how long this takes. And I'm absolutely going to miss this game. Not that I'm going to stop playing, but just the fact that there's going to be nothing more new in the game just feels weird. I really hope they do do DLC.
There we go. So yes, for those of you just joining us, we are on the final level of Power Wash Simulator. And when this is done, that's all she wrote. So I'm definitely feeling weirdly bittersweet about it. find a new game to play as my go-to. to do this, but I have to do it every time, where I need to carve myself off a section from the group to focus on. So that, that the horizontal line was purely just to break up this. So I can clean the dirt on the floor. I do it when I'm shoveling, too. Like... Just for some reason, it helps my brain conceptualize it better and not get overwhelmed by running a line through the mass, like right here. And there. Now it's no longer one massive mass, it is just this small section that I can see noticeable progress on. Giving you guys a weird insight into my own brain. <laughs> Whoa! Thank you for the raid, single letter J! Let me give a shout out. My partner in crime. And welcome in, Raiders! This is gonna be a very, very different experience from Mortuary Assistant. Um. Uh, I don't know how much Jay hyped me up or what he said, but uh, we are partners in crime. We do joint streams and co ops and things like that. Um. I'm a variety streamer. I stream. Uh, hey there, beautiful. Um, I stream any random game that strikes my fancy. Um, give me a second to get that adjusted. Um, and one of the first games I've been I was streaming back when it was in early access was Power Wash Simulator. And now Power Wash Simulator is is out. And that means the campaign is finally done. And me raid, woo! Uh, this is the final level. And it's a weirdly bittersweet experience. Also, look at that view and look at that volcano. This game should not have lore. This game should not have an in-depth story and everything like that. But it does. And that's very, very weird. Well, welcome on in, everybody. Um, so, Jay, tell me about Mortuary Assistant. How was it? Did you enjoy it? Um, I couldn't even watch, like, YouTubers play the game. It freaked me out. <gasps> Raven! It was dope as hell. Good. 
Um, did you beat it and get through it? I, look, I, I know that it's a shorter game, I want to say. But is there replayability? Like, like I didn't even watch much. We're tag team? What the? What are you talking about? No, 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 no. It's got five endings? Okay. It's a mystery solving spoopy game. Okay. Why do you do this to me, Jay? And you're helping. All right, all right, all right, all right. I will. We do work better as a team because we're Firestorm. By the way, I don't know if you've completed this, Jay, or talked to anybody about completing it. Um. I'm in an Atlantean temple, and I found out it's dedicated to me. Here's all the past jobs I did. I just, ah, uh, this, this, this completely, like, blew my mind last night when I was doing it. Not that far yet. Okay. Um, but yeah. Just flabbergasted the hell out of me that... This was a temple devoted to me. But we're about halfway through. This game is freaking amazing. Like, it is so good. Like it's I, I, like I've been saying, it's bittersweet that it's coming to an end. But I'm so happy I picked up this game early access. I'm so happy I started streaming it. I don't know what I'm gonna do without Power Watch Simulator in my life. Because after this is gonna be nothing new. I mean, I'm sure it's still gonna play it. It's still a good like Zen out, chill out game. But man, with there being no new like story missions. that next. This is all set, right? Yeah, it is. Also, what is this song? Cryptic Cutout? It's like a 20s noir movie. Let's see if I can get this wall to ding real quick. Or is it not because of that? Oh no. Alright. Gotta get that rear entrance support. But how's everybody doing? The Raiders. People hanging out. Jay treats you well. Did he say terrible, terrible things? I know we're just at the beginning of the week, but anything really good happen to people? Anything good you have planned? I apologize if I just zen out for a bit when doing this game because this this game is very easy to just lose focus and stop talking and just oh come on where on this floor is still dirty let me chase down little scraps the entire way
Oh, oh, so the apron floor is dirty this way. That means probably. No? Come on. What nook and or cranny are you hiding in dirt? I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on other things. And I'll come back to that when I come back to that. Also, Jay, considering there's a statue of me now in the center of this, remember how I kept on joking that I was Poseidon of the sea? Because I had my trident? Yeah. The statue is a trident for a reason. This game. This game. Hey, got that wall trim cleaned. That's always important. This game has no right being as satisfying and funny and amazing as it is. And yet, and yet. Let's get this ceiling done. And then we have a whole second floor to do. And then we have to finish up the outside. I see Nap found my new redeem. Alright, give me a sec. Hi there, Nap. Uh, all right, give me a sec. Dare, 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 dare. Also, while I am at it, shout out Polly for hanging out in the chat as well. People, if you're not following these people, give them a follow. They're cool. They are friends of the channel. 
Um, yep, see, Naps, but Power Wash is just good. And for those of you out there who aren't sure of how calming and addictive this game is, but you have Game Pass, whether it be console Game Pass or the ultimate one that is a console or PC, it's on there. So give it a whirl. The first taste is free. And then you're just craving that sweet, sweet power washing action. So, speaking of games I've played for very long amounts of time, um, Monday, Monday, Monday at the Coliseum, uh, the 8th of August, I am doing a marathon stream. And if you've got ideas of games for me to play, let me know. Preferably on our Discord, because that way I can have a record of it and what I'm planning for shite. I'm not playing out last. All right, Nap, that's not happening. Look, there are games that are just not going to happen. Outlast is definitely one of them. Jay has already made some game recommendations for me. Some of them are creepy, some of them aren't. Some of them are a mix of both. Hey, thank you for the sub, Jay. Eight month streak. That means that this is the eighth month of me streaming as an affiliate. So the ninth month of me streaming total. That is very weird. I want to find a way to get those. Probably from the statue itself. We'll have a stream baby soon, absolutely. Sorry if you hear the loud thumping above me. The kids we babysit are staying the night. So that means that we're going to have rambunctious kids running around upstairs. And they know I'm streaming, and they know they probably should be not running around like hooligans. But when does that ever stop, kids?
Pardon me, me. Hey, there we go. Alright. Do we get to the knee first, or should I get to... I was doing this just fine last night. There we go. Uh, what was your hardest one in this game? Um, whew, I would have to say the Ferris wheel, probably. There's so much rust... There's so much just gunk in everything. Like everything else was time, everything else was like slight frustration. But the Ferris wheel was just constantly running over the same areas again and again and again to get the rust off. And I just, it just didn't want to do it. Though a close second is the uh, Fortune Teller's Wagon. Because as, as, as cool as that is, and as much fun as it is doing that one, there are so many nooks and crannies that are just such pains in the dick. Also, welcome in, Spurs lad. I just realized I probably should have said that first. Hi. The drill. Yeah, the drill's another tough one. Uh, thankfully, when I did the drill the first time, I could just zone out and do it, and then when I did the drill the second time for uh, a community wash day I had on this channel, we had a full party of six people. So it was literally just taking that drill to task, just descending upon the drill. But yeah, no, again, nooks and crannies and metal. Those are the biggest, the, the biggest caveats in this game. Those are also the ones I tend to break out, like, the cleaning liquid on. Because I get so frustrated with cleaning them. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I just want to be done. Cal here. There's no chance of getting near the volcano's rim, but I spotted something weird. I'm going for a closer look. Cal, be careful. So, for anyone who has just joined us, especially if you're just joining us at, uh coming in power wash like tag and things like that it's an abandoned mobile mining drill and it's broken into the magma chamber itself because that douchebag the rich douchebag um i have not actually finished the game uh this is me finishing the game for the first time <laughs> uh the operation likely to was the whole place what has the mayor done damn it mayor uh and yes libs welcome on a welcome on in and b I have a new redeem called Release the Main, which will make me put down my hair for a while. When will I put it back up? Nah, I'll decide when. But I'll give people their channel points worth. Fuck you, scaffolding. I will never use you. Never. Yes, we're at 60% done. I'm not sure how long I'm going today, because I'm not sure what I'm going to do after I beat the game. So I just stare off in the middle distance for a while. But yes, as Stream Elements is warning us, um, I do, when I do ads on my channel, I do three minutes of ads per hour because Twitch pays me more money if I do that. 
I'm not gonna lie, part of this, part of the reason I'm doing this is for money, because, you know, hey, I'd like to, you know, make rent and things like that. Um, but I try to do all my ads at one point. So when you do get ads, you'll get a three minute block and then you should be good for another hour. We all have to eat, very true. Um, if you message into the chat that you have ads, because ads usually start happening for everyone at once who's not subbed, I will try to like delay it out for three minutes, and as long as I'm not doing anything super vitally important, which in this game it certainly isn't. The boat was pretty hard. Uh, which one are you talking about, the frolic boat or the, the shrimper? The pelican. Uh, pelican was okay. Um, there was definitely, it was definitely much of a time-consuming thing for me. Um, the frolic boat, it took me an embarrassing amount of long time to realize that uh, they give you access to the fence nearby to jump on and attack from a, a, a farther out angle instead of just having to clean the sides point blank. Yes, this game has meant a lot to me in my stream. Hell, uh, we have an emote dedicated to this game. If uh, someone who subbed to me can drop some cat lores into the chat. But every time we found out more about Ulysses, the mayor's cat missing cat, we would drop cat lores in. And that's just... I mean, it's fucking fantastic. I'm just... I love this game. This game had no right to be as quirky and funny and weird as it is. And I'm going to be very sad that I'm not playing new stuff. But I am definitely going to... I, I, I will be fully honest. I don't know who the developer is off the top of my head. I'm going to be figuring that out after the stream. I'm going to make sure I follow their stuff. Because I want to see more of... Like, I have gotten... Aside from, like, clicker games, this is the game I have played most on Steam. Full, full, full stop, hands down. I have played more hours of this game than any other. As long as it's not a clicker that I used to keep on in my work. Shush. Don't tell. So. I. Yeah. Like. This developer has earned my trust. They have earned my money. I will keep a watch on their stuff. I will give them the benefit of the doubt when new games come out. I don't really pre-order games too much unless I get to see like gameplay. And like I'll, I'll pre-order like in early access because then I get to actually play the game as it's coming out. But like I won't like pre-order before I get to play the game or without being able to play the game. So I'm not gonna do that. But. Aside from that, yeah, absolutely. And that being said, if you purchase from Humble Bundle or things like that, I have a I'm a Humble Bundle partner. Um, you can go through my about page to find my partner link gives me a bit of a kickback, gets you the game that you want to play, usually games that are released on Steam, they have the, uh, they have on Humble. Yes, this was, as you can see, all these all these murals are uncovered, because as Libs can attest, uh, last night I started figuring out that the murals were my jobs on Power Wash Simulator, and I started just, oh, the stego slide, 
I started just like like a madman running around uncovering them. All right, uh, let's start over here and work our way out. Existential crisis was amusing to watch. Well, that's what I'm here for, for your amusements. Alrighty. Something so satisfying about this. Uh, same thing with like visceral cleanup detail and other games like that, where as soon as you start cleaning and start like making headway, ah, oh, there's just something so good about it. Bruh. Yes, Jay. They... Why? Why does WB hate live-action DC? Like, is it, like, put going back to the woodshed and getting worked on, or is it just cancelled, cancelled? And do they give a reasoning? Not that any reason would be enough. It was way into filming. Did they give a reason at all, or is it just them saying, nope, we're not doing it? What the fuck? Hi there. How we doing, Queen Brat? Welcome on in. And I saw that you finally convinced your spouse to uh, stream this game. Should be very proud. Um, yeah, I, I started this last stream, 
and was working my way through. Um, and then I think it was just Liz was active in the chat to see the existential crisis that came from realizing that this was a temple to me. And all the murals are your past jobs and everything like that. It just, it got me. It got me. I was just like, what the fuck? Like running around, like quickly power washing off the murals and freaking out. I have a theory this is part of uh, covering up the killing of the in killing the Flash movie. That is entirely possible, and that's super shitty that Ezra Miller has hurt another group of people, even by an action this time. They're trying to push more DC stuff into theaters, and they didn't think it'd work as a theatrical release. Something, something, regime change at WWW or something. That's... Why? The... Theaters suck. Let me watch a movie from the comfort of my own damn home. Like, the Panini did a lot of horrible things, but it did teach us that, like, things can be more accessible than the old way, and yet people are still refusing and pushing us back towards it. Uh, in Lost City. Is this Lost City? Yeah, right, this is Lost City? Yeah, okay. So, here's how I get on the statue. All right, Spurs, I start here, jump up to the base, in front of the knee, onto the knee, and then from the knee onto the shoulder, onto the head, up and over. You don't remember this, but does anyone actually care about the Flash movie? No, and that's the thing, is that, and no worries about that, Libs. I mean, I care about Flash when they have fully recast the Flash, and we're getting an actual Flash. Also, I'm kind of sad we don't get uh, Keaton as, as Bruce Wayne anymore. Um, that being said... Yeah, like, stop hurting the rest of the DCU for this. You don't care about Keaton? I mean, like I said, he's still my favorite MCU villain. But then again, I have, I'm such a sucker for uh, blue-collar villains. Okay, and that, that is 100% fair. I'm like, I don't know many people that would say that Keaton was their favorite Batman. He is in fact no Con Conroy, and he is either. He's also not Conroy. Um, absolutely, Conroy and um, Fredell are my favorite Batman's. Full stop.
Firestorm. Absolutely. And also, just to just to re harp back on Batman Beyond, because I think Jay and I have talked about this five million times on streams, off streams, whatever. Um, the fact that it showed in, in in this kid's cartoon, it showed the the weight of being Batman better than most other things. Like just how much being Batman completely fucks over your social life and everything like that. It's in in most Batman media, it's an afterthought. Where, you know, like they have a like one or two scenes um where you know, Batman or Bruce Bruce is staring forlornly at the world he does not get to participate in. And that's it. Um, but in Batman Beyond, Terry McGinnis, he did the job. He knew the job needed to be done. But man, it was he missing out on his life to do it. And it was just such a, a good and poignant, like, still, time and time again, he put on the cowl, he did the job. But it was never, he hadn't gotten to the point where we see Bruce Wayne. Where Bruce has completely removed himself from the social aspects of the world so he can focus on being Batman. Terry was just this kid who shouldn't have had all this stuff put onto him. But still, somebody needed to do the job and he picked it up and, and did it. Give me one second. So, it was in his blood. Ha! Oh my god, so many people are mad at that episode. Like, I, I, I get it. I'm not a big fan of that episode. But I'm okay with it in, in the long run. But yeah. Also, um, so the reason why my phone just went off is that... Uh, so, I used to go puff a bunch. Because um, I don't drive. And it'd be a good way to get myself some late night snacks if I really wanted some late night snacks. Um, I've recently been cutting back on a lot of my spending in a lot of different areas. And GoPuff has lost their goddamn mind. They are convinced I am dead or something. Because GoPuff just keeps on like reaching out and like, Hey, are you, you know, it's been a while. Are you sure you don't want to place an order? Guy? Buddy? Friend? Friendo? I mean, as long as you got a safe word, Queen Brett. No, I, I, I get you. They had me too. It was just... F uh, physical in inability to pay for GoPuff that stopped me. I'm like, I really gotta stop doing this because I do not have the money. I have, I am still unemployed. And as much as Twitch is, you know, as much as I love the fact that Twitch is paying me some money for playing video games and hanging out with my friends, it is not paying me enough money for hanging out video games and playing with my friends. Um, but yeah, plus like the new, the new stuff that they have. There's nothing as like weirdly like adventurous and satisfying as um, looking through the new Go Puff stuff and like seeing like what new flavors of soda or candy they have and be like, ooh, this sounds interesting. Gotta stay inside. If I start going outside, I'm gonna start just getting all super ADHD on this. Also gotta stop yelling around because I do want to end up at. I wanna. I a. I have to end this today. Today has to be the day that we finish this this board. And if Vox is going on at nine with more power wash simulator. Uh, 
Uh, sure. I can see some pics of the Batgirl movie. I love how I just get done saying I've got to focus. I got to focus up so I can make sure I finish this by nine, and immediately get distracted by Jay showing me pics of the Batgirl movie. Shelby, come here. There. You're on the air. Give me one second. Hi. Okay. Hi. No, I can hear myself. In, you gotta mute my stream, buddy. Hi. Hi. No, I can hi. Hear myself in, also, say hi to the lovely buddy. people. And that suit looks amazing. That's the, um... Oh, what's her name? Gail... something suit? Okay, start again. Hi. Hi. Um, okay. that suit looks amazing. Yeah, and we're not getting it. I know, but that's the, um... What's her name? The Gail... Ah. Oh. I don't remember her last name. It's in my life. Is that Scarecrow? No. Oh, that's Firefly. Firefly. That's Brendan Fraser. No! No! Ezra heard another Brendan Fraser. Ezra's got to go down. I'm sorry. I forgot Brendan Fraser was in this one. There it is. Ah oh, man. Ezra's got to go down. You ready? <sighs> okay, hold on one more time. There's a, there, yeah, there's a boy. No. But then there's this. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. We're gods. Aw. He is Batman. So this is like where I get... Oh, hi, again, everybody. This is where I get my theory. Because Michael Keaton is... Batman is in this. And Michael's Keaton... Bat, Michael Keaton's Batman is being introduced in... The Flashpoint movie. Um... I, what I'm hoping isn't happening, but I mean, I don't know, I, actually at this point, I kind of hope it is. Because if they're just going to toss out the Batgirl movie, please throw the fucking Flash movie out there too. Absolutely. Uh, and we're not showing all the classes because I don't want, like, uh, stuff on the stream. I don't know. Brain not working right. I don't want to get, like, content ID'd or something like that for showing off and complaining about it. I'm probably not going to, but, um, ah, no! No, you're... Also, Shelby just filed, so give me a second to get Shelby back. Yep. Um, but Jay will put those on the Discord. Please and thank you. I will. Please and thank you. Uh, oh, okay, hold on. Ro Roger doing. <laughs> and how I'll are you doing? It up into my uh, the movie Discord part of the chat there. And how are you doing, Chickadee? Chickadee! Chickadee was hanging out with me and my stream today. Nice! Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have fun tomorrow. Sure. You'll be fine. I'll be right there with you. It'll be okay. Okay, folks. So, the Twitter link is in the uh, general movie chat of the uh, Discord. Also, directly above that, if you haven't already watched it, is a short film called Punisher Dirty Laundry. If oh, Dirty Laundry is good. If that's not motivation enough for you to watch it, I don't know what is. Talk approved. Go watch it. It's like 15, 20 minutes long. Ron Perlman's in it. Ron Perlman. Yeah. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. Ron Perlman can kick the shit out of Chuck Norris. I mean... I said it. Yeah. See? Hell. There's that great... Um... 
scene in a Ron Perlman movie where he uh, cuts the Confederate, is a sheriff who cuts a Confederate flag off somebody's truck. And completely different genre, but Leslie Grace was amazing in the Heights. Um, is she the one that's playing Batgirl or was playing Batgirl? I'm to go with the whole dad thing. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. You knew better. They knew better. So fucking pissed. No, you can be disappointed all you want. I'm disappointed and fucking pissed. First of all, Leslie Grace is gorgeous and was a fantastic choice. Absolutely. By the way. Um, second of all, uh, uh, you know what else we're not getting? You know who her dad is, right? Not like the not the actress, I mean the character. Yeah, yeah I'm aware aware of who Batgirl's. Uh, well, hold on, because of that costume. Is that uh, Stephanie Brown or is that uh, Barbara Gordon? Barbara. Okay. Yep, and Serenity is spot on. We lost. J.K. Simmons in another goddamn Commissioner Gordon role. <clears throat> I will always love Stephanie Brown's origin story, though. Do you know much about Spoiler? Do you know Do you know her uh, origin and everything like that? Are you talking to me? I, I'm just making sure. It's one of the weird oh. bits of bat lore. Are you talking to me? There are times that people in my life don't know even the obvious things sometimes, buddy. That's why I gotta double check. With my luck... Wait, well, I mean, first, wait, hold on. Stephanie Brown was also a Robin. She was indeed. She was the first female Robin. Right. I mean, she was a couple different things. Her, yeah, her origin. I just, I, I love the concept of the one-time Arkham Asylum God, actually Trinity, works. If we, yeah, no, okay, Libs, if we, if, if Libs we is right. That, if we okay. lose that. Nope. All right, Libs, you ready? You ready, Libs? Okay. Have you seen the movie Jay Inside the Bob Strike Back? That's what we're going to do. If they cancel that show. I'm not helping you fill the cup. Not the cup part. But we're going to get to Hollywood and show those Miramax fucks who's boss. Find I Ben Affleck. Miramax. <laughs> I will find Ben Affleck. He'd probably help. I'd be like, yeah, um, J-Lo sent me here. There you go. Said that you would help, and then he's like, "What did she say exactly?" I said, "I don't know." Something about taco kisses for your Ben flavored kisses. There you I don't go, know, man. There's the J <laughs> I know and love. Hi. <laughs> All right, thanks for your help, Ben Hoopla. What? <laughs> anyway, yeah. It is. I don't know why DC hates their live action property so fucking much. Or WB hates their live action DC properties. Is Elijah Dusku? Absolutely. Gonna... Yes. 100%. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll snag her and have her come along too. The sign! And. On the back of the cab! Said Critters for Hollywood! You dumb! Fuck! That is, without a doubt, my favorite uh, Silent Bob rant. Really? E even over the Amy one? The Amy one's nice. I enjoy the Amy one. Oh, it's a good yeah, thing. The Amy one gets me choked up, man. There's just something <laughs> about Silent Bob just, just finally, finally losing, losing his cool with Jay and be like, no, 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 listen to me, you motherfucker. Just say it already! 
You can always pull out that fucking Amy story, but never once like, yo man, that's a good cheese whiz. <laughs> For whatever he says. Oh my god, I wanted to, uh, mall rats, I wanted to punch the shit out of Jay. Why? Because every time he got close to doing the force trick, man, he just knocked out of his hand, and I was like, son of a bitch, just stop and let him do something for five fucking oh, minutes. He nah, he was being stupid, he deserved it. <laughs> Knock that shit off, lunchbox. <laughs> Oh man, that movie took me off of chocolate covered pretzels for a solid like fifteen minutes. Oh, oh <laughs> I can't do those. Really? Like, well, let me, I'm sorry. Let me phrase it. If, if, if like somebody hands me a closed package, mm -hmm. or if I if I purchase a closed package, that's one thing. What I won't do, <laughs> <laughs> especially Nobody not can hand me. Do not hand me one. I will not take it. I don't want it. And if it's melty, even the slightest, I will punch you in the face. That is a declaration of war, my friend. <laughs> oh, Michael war, Brooker. Son. We're going to war. Michael Brooker. Dude, that's another fucking person in Hollywood who does not get the credit he deserves. Not at all. And it's why... Uh, it's why there has to be flashbacks in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Because if there's not, that would be the very first James Gunn movie he's made without Michael Rooker. I I don't I don't my brain can't process. Wait wait hold on was he in the Suicide Squad? I want to say he was. Yeah. Yeah. Of course he was. That's he was with the blonde dude with the long hair. Oh right. In the opening scene, right right the ball. right right right. My brain for some reason moved that to the bad Suicide Squad. I don't know no. why. I don't know why. No, no, no. He was one of the dudes that yes, yes, yes. Like <laughs> What does TKG stand for? It's my name. <laughs> TDK. That's not damn TKG. <laughs> there it is. I'm like, wait. <laughs> my brain conf uh, conflated that with a uh, KG beast from the um, Assault on Arkham. Oh wow. Batman had a rough time with him. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he did the usual thing eventually. But so. Okay. I just gotta finish up this roof and then do the outside. By now under the stream, we got this. Yeah, you can do it. I want. Uh, I mean, I like I said, I've heard good things. A lot of people want, but like, I I don't know. If, well, I mean, it was me watching Markiplier play it, and I couldn't get through like like the mounting horror of the game. I'm like, no, 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 I'm, I'm good. You'll be okay. I'll be there. You'll be there for me when the rain starts to pour. You'll be there for like me I've like you've been there before. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, nobody expects me to be a Friends fan. That's the that's a that's a weird one. I'm like, dude, I grew up in the nineties. So it was a requirement. Fun fact <laughs> I never watched too many Friends episodes. Because mm -hmm. again, it's me and sitcoms. That I don't you know. But oh, yeah, uh, no, these are particularly bad. Kit had friends seen it. And you know how my brain works. Uh huh. So like as we're going through the trivia question the trivia questions, I'm just learning stuff about friends. And then I'll be able to, you know, like by the third or fourth time we played it, like put party mode on, I was answering questions, you know, hands down. And um 
it got to the point where Kit and members of my family accused me of secretly watching Friends on them. I was like, that's just how my brain functions. Or doesn't function, as the case may be. I did the same thing with Sopranos. No? Soprano trivia? Yep. Seen it, no less. I'm trying to think of like what's the next movie I'm really excited to see. Well, now. Oh, um. Doesn't Sandman come out? I mean, that's not a movie, but doesn't Sandman come out in a few days? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Sandman should come out this, uh, this, and we get to um, see. I'm, I'm still not sold on Joanna. The con yeah, uh, uh, the constant time, but, but. Um, I, I saw a little bit of death, and just, I'm so here for it, it's ridiculous. Uh, did you see, I don't know if it was a cosplay, or just someone, or like, I don't know if it's official, or just like a really good cosplay. Hey, Butters, welcome on in. Um, but there was someone at Comic-Con... Bullet Train looks like a lot of fun. I don't know which one Bullet Train is. Oh, is that the one where the um all the assassins are trying to um find the, the package on the on the train? Anyway, um sorry, there was I don't know oh, if it was yeah, I, I I don't know, like that just seems I've already seen it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah, I but I've seen that movie already. But it's a good movie to turn your brain off to. It's a good yeah. premise to turn your brain off to. Um, and that being said, I'll sorry. Watch it eventually. Before we before we get too far off of the the uh, Sandman train, um, a thought. Uh, I don't know if it was official or if it was um, uh, just a really good cosplay. But someone at Comic Con was dressed as the Sandman Morpheus, but had under their arm the the bug fly helmet he wears sometimes. And it just, it looked so good. And I'm like, I really hope this is official, but I do not put it past some cosplayer to be like, no, I'm doing oh, this. Have you not seen the trailers and stuff? Um, I don't think I have. I know you told me to. I just, it's one of those things oh, that yeah, I never think like, about it when I'm... Couple. But no, he, um, he looks great. He's, he's gaunt as hell. He, just, he looks like Sandman. I hope he's a good actor. I hope he's going to be able to portray... Yeah. The, the, the quiet malice of Sandman. So, you know? here's the thing. Is Lucifer cast in this? Yeah. Is it the same guy from the show? No. Hmm. It's so I'll say this. It's not I, a guy. It's not a, oh, it's not a guy? It's... Oh, uh, uh, oh my god. God, I can't think of... It. She's played two big ladies. One in Star Wars, one in uh, Game of Thrones. Gwendolyn Christie. Who plays... Right? I know I'm um, going to cry a little a bit. It's a Chinese much... Trooper lady. Yeah, Gwendolyn Christie. I don't know who yeah, Chinese Trooper is. Um, Phasma. Thank you. I'm Cap super stoked for Panda Forever. I am very excited yeah, for it. Yeah, I... Namor... I, ooh, Namor looks like a badass! The Namor stuff looks good. Uh, I have not seen the new Monster Monsters trailer. I want a trailer yeah. for fucking Quantumania. I, I have seen the new Monsters trailer. It looks like... Yeah. Uh, okay, if it was in black and white and Sherry Moon Zombie wasn't there, I might be able to get behind it. But she does not sell it at all like it it's my complaint is never like like hey you know he you know he shouldn't cast her in all those movies you know mm. do it up you know cast you know do whatever it's fine but she is not a good actress she's not she's um was bad she's a bad actress <laughs> yeah, sure what's what's, a, what's I, that word i'm looking for yeah bad <laughs> yeah I, i'm sure i'm sure she's a you know super 
blonde person and is definitely married to Rob Zombie, but she she is not a good actress. I can't think of anything I like about her. Uh, I don't. I don't think I've seen a movie with her in it because this is me we're talking about. But uh, from yeah. everything I've heard, it's it's rough. Uh, and that's fair, Libs. Uh, I know they released a poster for it, and we get yeah. to see Cassie in a costume. Wait, you know who's in Quantum Mania? Not Quantum Mania. You know who's in Wakanda Forever, right? Uh, Ironheart, Riri. He, oh no! I mean, yes, but so not only has he already filmed scenes for Wakanda Forever. So yes, Doctor Doom has been cast. Are you serious? Who the fuck did they cast yep. for Doctor Doom? I don't know. They're still keeping it as like, like just they're keeping it in their wraps, dude. And I'm just like, oh. I just please don't fuck this up. Yeah, don't fuck it up. You, you can't fuck up, fuck up Doom. Up. What? what again? No, 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 no. Third time. Yeah, I mean that's what I mean. I don't mean like. Please don't fuck up Doom. Please don't fuck up Doom. Please, like, please, just, just, look, you guys already said I can't have John Krasinski as, as Captain, or as which, Captain, as Mr. Fantastic. Which is which bullshit. Is fine. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. It is bullshit, and thank you. But. Yeah, it, it was, it was shown in the, um, Doctor Strange movie, and the, uh, commentary, they said that, uh, Kevin Feige, um, only had John Krasinski play uh, Reed Richards because of the fan the fans wanted him to play it so much so this was a one time thing that's so stupid it's so stupid okay. I don't care man I just, just give me a fucking Captain Carter cool. Also, we're not going to be getting any of the uh, uh, any X Men for a good couple of years. I mean, that makes sense. They gotta find out how to do that right. Well, here's why, though. When the Fox acquisition occurred, um, there was still a contract in place that, that Disney had to honor that mm -hmm. said that the characters of X Men could not be recast. Uh, for X amount of years, which is why we got Charles Xavier uh, back in in a uh, Mulder's Madness. Madness, and that's why we got you know Randy Boner or whatever the fuck his name is in uh, Wandavision. Oh, I mean, here's the thing: I enjoyed that a little bit. The I did too. It was not it the was right fine. guy. I don't. I, I think. I think it was shitty to do to the fans on some level because yeah, we had a lot of you know, expectations for this and we're hoping for like, you know, at least something like bigger, a little bit more meaty, mm -hmm. you know? I'll, I'll be honest, I thought that she was going to cause the multiverse thing. Well, that's good. Um, with with that. Um, nope. and I thought that it was gonna be like she reached for Quicksilver, could not find hers, found another one instead, and that that was gonna cause like the universe to start colliding. But apparently not. I, I think Marvel's going to need to. Like in in some movie here soon, is gonna need to find a way to succinctly put what the fuck is going on. Yeah. Because like the average like you know we get it because we're obsessive fucking nerds. But, Pretty much. You know, the average fucking person isn't gonna understand that what happened in Loki had to happen first, because that's what essentially created and opened up the multiverse. And then when and then in uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. You know, crack started forming, and then yeah, right. So that had to ha the the cracks had to happen to then open the multiverse and show it to the rest of the MCU. The average person isn't gonna get that shit. 
I know they set up the X gene and missed the Marvel. Okay, deep breath, deep breath, oh, deep, deep breath. Well, what's the fuck up the humans? Pull up! Anyway, Pull up! <laughs> Thank you. You got this, buddy. I know. And it's, 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 there's too many things that are. Why did they fuck up our humans so much? I just want to see Miss Marvel with my doggo. That's all I want. I know. We don't get Lockjaw anymore, and that makes me sad. It's not fair. Just because they put him in a shitty movie. I'm sorry. It, can it wasn't a shitty hard. movie. It was a TV show. It that was introduced as a movie. <laughs> that I paid money to see. For two tickets in IMAX, thinking it was going to be at least somewhat good. I did. I, I it kit took me. It was a midnight showing, so I paid There's for my ticket. A uh, fair point, Libs. <laughs> yeah. Tech, yeah, can't argue with that. Well, no, no, it's it's one hundred percent understandable exactly why they did it from both the comic side of things and the perception side of things. You cannot like. If you didn't have, if if in humans the show had worked well, then one hundred percent, um, they could it could have worked, but it didn't. In humans and the mutants like coincide in the comics because you know me, I try to avoid Marvel comics if I can. Yeah, least they're trash. But um, yeah, I said it. Um, but how does that work in the comic book? world so do you want the in comic book answer or the meta answer yes okay income okay. in comic book answer was it was that uh for the most part they were just two separate groups of powered individuals with the downside of um when it didn't look like marvel was going to get the rights back to x-men anytime soon in the comics, it uh, someone released Terrigen gas all over the planet, which caused latent in humans to start popping up, and also inhibited uh, mutant uh, reproduction. That's what stopped mutants from have from uh, keep uh, continuing. That that's what stopped them from just immediately oh, resurging ooh, their population. That's what, that's what they all. Oh. Okay. So it was Marvel's way of saying, well, if we don't have the, mu if, if we can't do, um, if we can't do X Men and get ourselves that mu that movie money, then we're gonna slowly just phase out the X Men and focus on these like Inhumans. What they did with Fantastic Four. And yep, yeah, and it didn't work. Uh, it was really poorly re received because of course, but honestly, because of course, um, the Inhuman popularity and the human creation happened because of dorks like us um and people getting older and having already gone through puberty and not getting their mutant powers so they you know can't really do wish fulfillment for a bunch of teenagers instead you have these older kids who you know like so you're who... saying terry terry uh miss might might still be our chance exactly that is exactly what it is wasn't it a creepy thing in the comics or was that just in the show uh nope it was 100 uh in the comics as well the kree came down to earth and they um uh they modified humans to make them inhumans and make them their like basically warrior slaves they overthrow the Kree, sent them packing, and then they realized that their powers were too powerful, and they could basically rule over as gods, and they didn't want to, so they hid away on the blue side, the blue spot of the moon, which was in the dark side of the moon. Uh, it was a uh, the blue valley, sorry, that's what it was called, which had like which had as atmosphere. Isn't that where uh, where Nick Fury is right now? Uh, possibly. <laughs> is it so we saw um phases five and six uh their timelines announced and i'm a little bit confused because they blatantly left out things that they've confirmed are happening yeah i don't know i i fully admit i haven't been fully tracking the timelines anymore it's exhausting it is i know they're doing a secret war that should be fun yep 
But they're also doing Armor Wars, and that wasn't on there. Um, true. But then again, I think Armor Wars is going to be a show on Disney Plus and be yeah, more but they local. Had on there, though. Did they? Yeah, I mean, because that's what uh, Daredevil's going to be. No, well, fair. I, um, I think. But yeah, I think I Armor War can be done really well, and I really hope they do it, especially when they're introducing Riri Williams in uh, Wakanda Forever. Um, and it's it's a great idea of like Rhodey and um, uh, and an Iron Heart. Um, like joining up to help kind of like protect Iron Man's legacy and then anyone who has Stark tech you know you get like we can make you get what is what real buddy I'll give you one sec okay It does not have to do with Doctor Doom. Um, in the comics, Armor Wars was a bunch of people stole some Stark Tech ideas and started implementing them. So basically, a bunch of power armored um, uh, villains got a shit ton more powerful out of nowhere, and. Uh, Tony realized, like, so with comic version is, Tony realizes that uh, it's his tech that is causing all these villains to power up. So he decides that there's a leak and decides that no one gets to have Iron Man tech but him. So he goes on a one-man rampage, neutralizing any Stark tech that's out there, including, like, the shield peacemaker armors and things like that. So, like, he basically goes on a one-man, just, like, just badass spree to... Oh, don't make me use... There, I can, I can do this, right? I can do this. Yes. Okay. Jesus Christ. Comicbook.com and comicbookreview.com or whatever mm -hmm. are just the worst websites on the fucking planet. Here. Yes. But Daredevil Born Again has to contend with Netflix's season three. Contend? Or just continue. Because Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio both said, yeah, what happened in the show happened in, like, the MCU. And, like, how uh, season three ends is, like, perfect just to keep going. I honestly <laughs> cannot remember off the top of my head how season three ends. I think I might not are, even watch it. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. No, no, it's super easy. Fucking Foggy writes, uh, what, Nelson, Murdoch, and Paige on a fucking napkin. They're like, oh my god, let's start our own thing. And they're like, yeah, let's start our own thing. Yay, the end. Nice. Right, and I'm like, yeah, let's start there. That's, or, you know, start a couple years later. Or, you know, hey, the fucking law firm that, uh, the, 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 that helped uh, Peter Parker out, whoever that is. Weird, I don't remember doing that. Anyway, there are traces of an <laughs> odd luminous ore everywhere. I've never seen anything like it. Well, yeah, I'm Cal. Yeah. We're zapping Shut it. Up, Cal, nobody cares. I care. It's it's lore. Not even cat lore. This is just lore lore. Hang on, there's something else up here. It's probably the douchebag with the laser gun. How did you not do laser without voting? Easy enough for me. Uh, look out, an aircraft is shot straight out of the volcano when it's headed your way. My way? Excuse me, sir, I'm a power washer. Wait, yeah. doesn't... Is there any news about Fly... Nothing official yet. Um, according to Vox, he heard rumors that uh, the actor has uh, signed a contract. Um, but I have also haven't heard anything from uh, uh, Deborah... Ann Wolf. Wolf? 
Deborah Ann Wool. Wool, that's it. That's it. Um, nothing yet, which is also a shame. Very much is. She's fantastic I mean, nobody, and a really good DM. Has said, yeah, nobody has said that yet, Butters. Um, as far as we know, it's a reboot. So they could do a lot of things. Like, like it's, it's pretty up in the air. Um, but, I mean, Charlie Cox is signed on to come back. Vincent D'Onofrio was signed on to come back. I feel like it would be silly to not have the rest of, you know... The, the principal cast. The show. Right. It just it wouldn't make any sense. So, here's the thing. I did hear a rumor about this that I, I, I kind of hope is real. Because it would it'd okay. be a really good place for it all. Um, and the rumor I heard was that... Murdoch got blipped and Fisk <laughs> didn't. Oh, I love it already. So, Sorry. Wilson Fisk has had five years without a daredevil watching over him. To, to, to rebuild up his empire to do everything he needs oh, to I'm, do. So here, I, um, I'm sorry, I should reiterate... I finished season three last night. I mean, yeah, because you constantly yeah. rewatch it. Yes, and it's wonderful. All right, butter's on commercial, so we gotta wait for him to come back. I'd be okay if Rosario Dawson didn't. Um, <laughs> honestly, because I feel like at this point, she's more of a defender slash primary for Luke Cage. Very, unless, very true. Yeah, unless they decide... Well, again, uh, we, we don't even know if Luke Cage is coming back. Uh, we know Jessica Jones is. Yeah, the whole AKA um, uh, Jessica Jones slip-up they did. That they claim was just a patch, yeah, but there's no way. Yeah, well, that's just it. There's no patch. I've been keeping my eye out for it on, on Disney+. Plus, and it's still just called Jessica Jones. So... me. <laughs> uh, just watch her do a D and D one shot with Jack Black and some other actors for charity. Um, yeah, uh, I I know which one he's talking about. So if Butters can't find it by the time I finish stream, I will snag it. Yay. Yeah, it's it's an epic twenty level one shot for a uh, charity for con, for a con, and it was fantastic. I didn't fully watch it, but the parts I saw were amazing. <laughs> she's freaking amazing yeah. um I was first introduced to her playing D&D &D, um in campaign 2 critical role she's a guest star and her really? character oh yeah her character is adorable she's a gnome arcane trickster it's rogue it's a little something we like to call fluffer, fluffer nutter Nice. nice. Look, I got to see Daredevil, like, from like the feet up to like, like up to some boobs. In so like, I'm, I, like, it's I, I, I don't want to, I, I could tell it was Charlie Cox just by how he moved. Very I'm true. I'm just like, my my dude. Like I just like I, I screamed, I cried, not even. I cried. I don't give a fuck. What Butters, a, yeah, pop yeah. it into my RPG what? shenanigans, uh, please. That's what she said. Indeed. Also, can you give me a shout out for I am that Chris? Oh, yeah, I guess. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, I, I will fully admit the first trailer for She-Hulk I was mad about, but that second trailer, oh, oh got me right in. I I cannot oh, wait. Yeah. Also, Bruce needs to catch a friggin' break. <laughs> I'm. It's it's so crazy watching like the insane amount of hate coming in for that show. What she hold? Like just 
yeah, just screaming, oh, you know, how bad it looks and, like, how stupid it looks. And it's like, do you, you don't, like, get what this is going for? Like, you understand there's more than one flavor of ice cream? Oh, oh, if, we, if we're talking about the hate for She-Hulk, the amount of people who are mad that she looked at the camera is ridiculous. That, that's what sold me. Well, yeah, and here's the thing. Like, I Fun. love. I, I I grew up with. I grew up with Mel Brooks. I grew up loving Deadpool. Like, oh no, no, no. but 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 that that's the problem, Jay. That's Deadpool's thing. Despite the fact that She Hulk did it first, and did it more consistently. I was gonna say. That's like, Deadpool's that was thing. Her, so that was how her thing in the comics? Dare asked, you? Like, the comic book viewers like like, hey, how do you like me in this outfit and shit? She has rhetorical questions in the comic to the viewer all the time. But she's a woman, therefore she's not allowed. Ah, uh, frustrates the living fucking piss out of me. That that little uh, date scene that that, they, that she has real quick. Yes. I'm just like, I'm just like, yeah. Put me on that list. I would absolutely be cool with that. I mean, isn't that how like you and Gail first dated? She like scooped you up and carried you to bed. Uh, no, that's. I was just gonna say that's the one thing I I, I don't want. <laughs> but I, I don't want to be treated like a child for lots of reasons. <laughs> you know, humiliation is one thing, but that's just gross. <laughs> yes, and very much true, Libs. Like the CG was not as polished in the first trailer. You, it, it's a definite feeling of like. It's not not as bad, but like early Sonic trailers versus later Sonic trailers between the two. Yeah, where you're like, someone someone had an idea, they released that trailer, everyone looked at it, and then that someone got smacked and they made it right. Hey, you know she's a Hulk, right? Yeah, why? You know Hulks have muscle. I'm not sure if you're aware of this. Not to mention the fact that, um, She Hulk is one of the power lifters of the Marvel Universe in the sense that Jen realized that the muscle mass that she has as Jen is exponentially increased when she becomes She-Hulk. So she starts working out when she realizes this and starts actually packing on the muscle. Jen herself is a strong-ass woman. And in fact, she routinely tries to get Bruce to work out as well, and Bruce is like, the last thing we need is a stronger Hulk. He has a point. He does. Like, at least she has a handle on hers. <laughs> yeah. Like, Bruce is, Bruce is just a gigantic man-child. Have you noticed that everybody else who's, who has a Hulk power is better at it than Bruce Banner? Uh, yes, but that's because they all kind of refined it. But it, it, it's still it, better. <laughs> true. Also, times I've played Jennifer, it's amazing in Black. I've never stopped raving about You have not, Libs. I've known you for many years. And I, like, as soon as I saw that it was Tatiana Maslani, I was like, oh, Libs is going to watch this. Uh, is that time for me? All right. You go have fun, my friend. I will. You enjoy the rest of your stream, buddy. I will. We got 17. Bye, everyone. Bye. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, basically, uh, in the comics... Yeah, let me tip out of the Discord real quick. Because I don't want people just popping in the call. Um, but yeah, in the comics, she played like 20 characters with the depth and complexity. Yeah, absolutely. Um... Uh, but yeah, she in the comics, um, she wasn't as strong. As, she's not as strong as Hulk initially, um, but she uh, started working out and uh, was able to maintain her cool for it. But where you have scenes like Bruce focusing on, like, yoga and, like, anger control, she just went to straight-up powerlifting. Um, you could find many 
many, many images of She-Hulk, like with like three ton things over her head as she's just working out. Then again, I always think, in general, I really enjoy the, the character of the Hulk, and I do think that he gets the raw end of the stick a lot. Um, there was a... So is this like Supergirl being technically more powerful? Kind of. Um, I mean, she has more control. She didn't have the raw, unrefined gamma exposure that he had that caused him to be where he is. Um, but yeah, there was a series called, I want to say, The Invincible Hulk. And the whole premise of it was that Banner was sick and tired of everyone just calling him the Hulk. And he's like, no matter how many um, how many things I invent, no matter how many problems I help solve, I will, you know what my gravestone's gonna be, say? Bruce Banner, he was the Hulk. And so he ended up, you know, uh, working with S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, like, accepting the Hulk and not trying to, like, cure himself anymore. And it was actually a really well-done run, but it wasn't as popular because that's not what people wanted the Hulk comics for. So they ended up shooting him in the head at the end. And then he came back and he had, you know, brain damage and was an even more bestial Hulk. And then eventually we got Amadeus Cho to be the Hulk, and he was having the time of his life, and everyone's like, well, see, Bruce, you're, you're, it's all your fault. It's like the guy had trauma before he got a giant gamma beast stuck in his brain. More of the story, be very careful getting a blood transfusion from a gamma radiated cousin, 100%. Hey, Sean, thank you very much for the lurk. Uh, in which aspects? Because, yeah, most likely a lot of it's going to be different in the show. Um, or you're talking about her origin? Because... I could see it have been somewhat similar. Um, where she gets the blood transfusion, it starts making her sick, so he has to basically, like... Gamma burst her and do it, but I don't know. I, I literally have heard nothing about it. Though I do think that he did mention the accident in the newer trailer, and um. It was a car accident that caused her to lose the blood, and he was the only possible donor. Which is it, stupid when you think about it in modern day science, but... I'm hoping we get the rest of them. Like, I know we're getting Abomination, I know we're getting She-Hulk, we're getting Wrecking Crew, and I love the new designs of the Wrecking Crew. How they really play off the Asgardian origins. But, uh, I hope we get stuff like, I mean, it probably won't because it's more of an X-Men property, but Walter Lankowski, who is a Canadian scientist that used to play for the Green Bay Packers, we don't talk about that, um, who... Uh, 
because there was an Aurora Borealis when he was doing the test to to make himself the Hulk, became Sasquatch instead. And was this instead of being green, was this giant orange furred form. And was again in complete control. Because he had studied what happened to Bruce and refined the process. Okay, according to Gizmodo, it's more of an accidental blood exposure. Interesting. but that might be because my mom was teaching exposure training at one point so I saw a lot of them do that's absolutely fair wait what even makes the Hulk bleed um well so we know from the end of Shang-Chi that he can still revert to Banner. Though I don't know how canonical that is going to be. Or maybe this was during the time he reverted to Banner. Like, I could see something like if she's in an accident... Or whatever he did to try to like re to revert himself. Um, but yeah, the Hulk bleeds. So Hulk does bleed. They just never show it because blood is bad. Okay, but like on um, the World War Hulk, which was um, where they got the premise for Rag Thor Ragnarok um, Hulk's blood actually healed that world so anywhere he bled like the plants bloomed it was interesting I like to imagine the version mainly happened because Buffalo was just so tired of that is entirely possible or they didn't want to pay for the CGI for that one scene But I could also see him doing something like, um, my arm wasn't healing as fast as, um, as the Hulk. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to, uh, dr drain my body of gamma at first, and then give myself a gamma pulse. So, uh, you know, I, I, when I return back into the Hulk, it will heal. Because if you notice, his arm's fine. At least it, I think it was fine. I'm now doubting myself. Okay. 86% clean. 20 minutes to go. Alright, gotta stop dilly dallying. I could see during that time he was Banner accidentally bleeding or like someone grabs the wrong blood sample from him to give her transfusion or something. Who knows? I guess we'll find out when the show comes out. When does the show come out? Yeah, his arm is healing. Yeah, that's what I thought. So something had to happen because his arm, if I remember correctly, the timeline is as this. At the end of Endgame is in Hulk form, has hurt arm. In the Shang-Chi one-shot, is in Banner form, 
has one arm. And then, um, by the time we get to this trailer, is back into Hulk form has and has healed arms. One shot? What? I'm working on it. But yeah, I'm like, I really enjoy. Oh, not one shot. Sorry. Um, after credit scene. I don't know why my brain said one shot. Yeah, in the timeline of the after credit scene, he ha still has his arm in the sling, but he is in banner form. I've always enjoyed Hulk. As a dorky nerd with repressed anger issues. Also, I just want to reiterate, I really love the consistency of the the world building. Cuz like the Wrecking Crew who were empowered by Loki in the comics. Um, if you look at them in the trailer, they have clear Asgardian influence on their design. Yes, as Stream Elements is reminding us, if you were not part of our Discord and enjoyed hanging out with Jay earlier on his stream or when you raided it over to me, we have a shared community here at the Rumpus Room. Come on by, hang out, have fun. We got cool folks there. There's daily questions and Discord movie theaters, places to put art both of the regular and the spicy variety.
I don't love this game. I've said it like five million times this stream, but it's such a good game. I also just realized that this is the Willy Wonka song. Still dirty. There we go. New one percent done. We may not end directly at nine, but we're definitely ending today. This is the last wall, because yeah, we're back to this. Okay. Let's get it clean. And then we can go to the topper. It, yeah, it, the pearlescent features are just amazing.
You're finishing Power Watch Sim, raise them starting at how poetic, exactly. I will raid out to you, buddy, but I have to finish this today. Also, hi. Um, you, you definitely have my raid, I will definitely raid out to you, but I'm at 92% and I'm three minutes out from the end of normal stream. I gotta just go along and get this finished. I will. But I'm, I'm ready for this to be done in the sense of, like, the excitement is there. I want to just finish this up. <gasps> More emotes? Nice. As that angry skull and hype skull? Also, did Squishy ever get approved? I haven't checked. As a reminder to everyone watching, nope, Squish, Laugh, and Dead are still... Really? Wow. Well, hold on. Did you call Dead Dead? You shouldn't have called Dead Dead. Gotta finish this wall, and then we gotta do the cornerstone of the pyramid. Oh. Also, my dude, you should let your hair down more often. Thank you. It actually is now a channel point redeem. Um, release the main is now a channel point redeem on the channel. Make people use up their bear claws. this game is I love forgetting the spots that I've cleaned before and then being able to like catch a break from past clock oh twitch froze on you no you will spend bear claws on nothing but the purple gun how are you doing for that buddy by the way how many bear claws do you have if I may ask Quarter of the way there. Had on the back. Did I miss anything? Um, just us talking about how the letting my hair down is a channel point redeem now, and how Butters refuses to spend his bear claws on anything but the purple pun. And how he's only a quarter of the way there because I said it obscenely high.
I gotta... Oh, shit. I gotta double check to make sure that I have the purple pun set to be um, once per stream only. Because the last thing I need is to get redeemed like three times in a stream. This is just so fucking satisfying. Almost one third of the way there. Can we get minor points? You cannot. Otherwise, I would make it more expensive. Fucking inflation. Five percent done. Just real quick. Oh. Okay. Thank you for the lurk box and enjoy your stream. We'll be over soon. Got 4% left to go.
else does she have to get from the ground over there? up on the statue. Shit, 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 damn it. Okay. So close. Ninety seven percent. I like how it's all clear skies over here, but then there's literally the raging volcano of doom over there. myself then fuck myself right back over again all right
percent. Okay. Let's see what we can do from down here. Okay. Put your head down. Ding for me. The shell features ding for me. There we go. to the cap. We're at 98%. 99. Correction. This should be it.
clean the butt crack of the scroll. This should be the last scroll as well. Laura Bailey. I do get moose sounds. Switch out some of them. Fourth pedestal. Okay. Before I finish the pedestal, is there anything else that needs to be cleaned? Atrium floor. Let's go do that. I'll be back. Bear sounds? Possibly bear sounds. Gallery floor cleaned. Okay. Where is this still dirty? I do like having my critical role sounds, but we can get stuff like, you know, Grog or Yasha's I would like to rage. There's more stuff from later seasons. Come on, Asian Floor. seeing all these tiny spots, but considering how big this damn floor is, that should be enough to make it ding. Or am I not? Is there like stuff on this side? Still will be the last thing I clean. Palace pyramidal walls.
Aha. Oh, not enough. Spot along this edge. There we go. Pyramid gem, pyramid pistol, uh, pedestal, good. Rear octopus wall niches. So that's the rear, so that's this way. Aha. Two. All right. Well, what's left is the pedestal and the gem. Ninety-nine percent. We are at. This is it. I don't want to go. The gem doesn't appear until it's all clean, so they, they forced me to do this last anyway, I'm guessing. Either that or the gem is on there on the top, I'm just gonna find a way to get into it. Gem, and there's the plane. Holy shit. All right, I guess we've got to clean. I'm doing a Rift Track stream on Friday night. I am busy Friday night, unfortunately. Um, I may be able to do it late, late Friday night. It depends on when the party I'm going to get out.
sorry, you picked the worst possible time, Moose, because there was a plane attacking me. <laughs> Starting at seven, going to whenever. Um, I it'll depend on a few other factors. I will get back to you. There's the UFO. Dude, see the plane when I did this. Oh, shot him down like a bitch. There we go. <sighs> Power wash services, you did it. After you cleaned our ship, we went further back in time, methodically tracing your steps one job at a time, right back to the backyard cleaning days. When doing so, we placed together Blake Thrust ambitions. Blake Thrust, that was his name. Uh, Thrust was obsessed with the lost city of pacifists, and after discovering that their tech was powered by a rare ore, set up illegal mines here, there, and everywhere, struck a rich seam inside Mount Ru Rushless and used it to develop his own tech, while also hoping to create enough tectonic movement to push the lost city up to the surface. What he didn't realize is that, by destabilizing the volcano, he nearly caused a global apocalypse. Knowing that the underwater city lay dormant until this moment, we went back in time and told the pacifists of your legend. They agreed to convert their palace into an offshore platform to send a neutralizing beam to Mount Rushless when the city resurfaces, resurfaced. We dirty the place up to ensure it would only activate once completely cleaned by a skilled power washer. Thank you for your time. Uh, thank you. The thanks to you, the timeline is now restored. We can turn to our time as heroes. Heroes with red velvet cake. P.S. Please feel free to use this message as a customer review if you think it would help your business. Savior of the freaking world. Oh my god. Future Lab, I love you guys so much. We are going to watch all of these. We're going to let this just roll and then we're going to go right over to Vox. Let's do this, and then let's stop this. Unless the actual song, it is very bittersweet. I love this. I love this game so much. I'm so sad that it's all done, but I'm so excited to have been here for it. And thank you everyone who has stuck around for this. Everyone who has watched me power wash. Everyone who showed up on the community day to help me power wash. Um, if you have the opportunity to play this game, do so. Full stop. It's good to just relax and have fun, and it's got a stupid, silly story. And you, there's a cat. There's cat lore. And I can only hope... Here, let me move this over real quick. Uh, do capture move. I don't want to imprint any, anybody who are these wonderful people. Thank you very much, kicking it. Um, we're going to play it through, because I'm hoping that we get the cat at the end. That, that, that is the one hope I have left. The one last thing for us. I love this song. It's so just boppy. Oh my god. The drill. The temple. I still love the temple. The temple was my favorite one to do. It's such a cool looking building. The force house is nice, yes. The washroom. The helter skelter. Which I believe was your first stream, Libs, if I want if I remember correctly. Either first or second was the Helter Skelter. The Frolic Boat. 
the monster truck. The Ferris wheel, which was the end of the first uh, deal, the first campaign. Subway. Fortune teller wagon. <coughs> Excuse me. Then the original statue, which sends off the beam. Prop plane, which the mayor used to escape. Then we got the finger. Giggity. Shrimp boat. Subway has the same color scheme as the Atlantis Temple. It does, kind of, yeah. Is it going to be Ulysses? Yes! Yes! And kittens! Oh, and everyone like Oh my god! That was fantastic. That was so fucking fantastic. And there we go. Alright, folks. Let me move this back over here. Uh, yeah. It's that time. We are going to raid on over to Vox's channel. Um, make sure you share the love. As always, if you stay at least 10 seconds, you'll get extra Bear Claws views on my channel. And then after the 10 seconds, 10, 20, give it some time, refresh the page, and it will definitely, uh, to, to relock you into the watching Vox's channel, and it should count you as a viewer for him. Um, them, my apologies. But more importantly, thank you guys, everyone, for, for hanging out. And it's just, it's so weird, like, such an era of, of my stream. Alright, I'm gonna go stare off and be sad and not sad, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Thank you guys very much. We're gonna do um, watch that, watch the Discord. I think it's gonna be just on Jay's channel uh, tomorrow where we're doing apparently more of the um, mortuary assistant and doing the puzzle aspects of that and then something on Thursday I have no idea what I'm playing on Thursday I'll figure something out but yeah have a good night I love you all kick names takes butt I almost forgot to do my raid messages so if you are not subbed you can copy that raid message if you are in fact subbed you can copy that one I know it uh, didn't show up properly, but that's only because Stream Elements doesn't have a subscription to me. But we're going to go ahead and write out. Let's, let's show the love.